Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is FPV Angel and Mon Conscience from APM Research. We made this short video for our subscribers and people in general. On screen is the true flat earth map and the grid you see is sacred geometry I have decoded from the Nazca lines and Walter Russell work. What we have decoded is the construct we live upon. We won't be going too deep into that so this is just a brief explanation of where we are with our research and how quakes factor into it. The lights you see on the Walter Russell motor type overlay are what we call pressure zones. To go deeper into that I recommend watching our new video. Now we do get asked a lot of questions on quakes which we have been explaining for a few years now. One Conscience is going to take you through the quake events mentioned by the channel called Dutch Sins so that Dutch can see a different perspective on what is really taking place here. So today I'd like to address the large quakes that have been hitting and that I've heard Dutch Sense say he is confused about. He even went as so far as to say that maybe the Flat Earthers are right and he would be correct. We have been explaining this for a few years now. So let's discuss this and show him why these quakes and tsunami warnings are acting the way they are. This first one hit at Alaska and it then traveled down the ley lines to hit at the South Sandwich Islands. As we can see this very well follows as I have spoken about in many past presentations. As it travels down the pipeline, it will then spread out in different directions. When it hit the South Sandwich Islands, it will then follow the grid up northward and spread out along the grid. This is why the Gulf of Mexico got a tsunami warning when the South Sandwich Island quake occurred. As it travels northbound, it will continue to spread out along the grid. And the next hit zone was Haiti which again gave another tsunami warning to the Gulf of Mexico. After this, it will continue its northern travel up the pipeline and spread out into the Taurus formation we have discussed in the past of Earth energy. What Dutch has called these termination spots are actually pressure zones. The energy does not stop here at these locations. It will continue to spread northward at these points following the construct of the motor beneath. Now I'd like this to be shared to where Dutch can get some insight into his confusion and also invite him to have a discussion about this energy flow on our map and grid. He is a brilliant man and I think he could understand this construct and his accuracy would improve with the few flaws he has made over the years. This is why he is not accurate when quakes come from Northeast Russia and they do not travel into America. And this is why Japan does not affect America. This would mean crossing the international dateline, which we all know cannot happen. <laughs> 